I, Montgomery County's police chief will step away from the position he's held for more than four years. Chief Marcus Jones is retiring after 38 years with the department. And Kelly Lynn is live for us at Public Safety Headquarters in Gaithersburg, where she sat down with the chief to discuss his career and find out what's ahead for him. So Kelly, what did he have to say? Well, it was a great conversation. He was very forthcoming with me about his challenges, his successes, even his failures. That's a happy guy right there. I was happy then. Back in 2019, when Marcus Jones accepted the job as Montgomery County's police chief, and he's still happy. I think this is a great time to pass the baton. The 59-year-old tells me his father was a Baltimore sheriff's deputy who exposed his son to law enforcement. Since Jones started his career with the Montgomery County Police Department in 1985, he has served as a patrolman, detective, sergeant, lieutenant, captain, commander, and assistant chief. In 2019, he became the 17th police chief of Maryland's largest county. I never thought I would be the chief of police of this department. More than four years into the job, Jones now leads more than 11 100 officers and 600 support personnel. What would you identify as your biggest accomplishment as police chief? Guiding this police department through challenging times. Such as? Such as uh, police reform, right? With uh, all of what occurred after George Floyd, um, a lot of changes within, um, you know, within the laws here in the state of Maryland. Would you be honest and identify any failures? The most disappointing thing for me has been my failure to be able to really recruit new officers and get them in the door. Today, MCPD lacks 150 officers, a staffing shortage Jones says he'll continue to address until his retirement takes effect on July 1st. What will you be doing in retirement? I am open to, um, you know, anything that might come my way um, because I'm, I feel like I'm still, you know, I still, I still got a few years to do something. We'll wait and see. All right, and he also says that he's open to possibly working a full-time job once he retires. He says that he hopes that his replacement will be someone from his department. And I asked him about the importance of tackling juvenile crime. He says that will remain a top priority. Live in Gaithersburg, Kelly Lynn, 7 News.